So basically what we are saying, as Jubilee eroded, is that we want to reorganize our house. The moment we reorganize our house, I can bet for sure, we will start engaging other like-minded parties whom we will form coalitions going to 2022. We are in government at the moment, Jubilee government, and we have no plan at all to exit the government. We also want to be part of government post-2022. And we are also alive to the fact that not one single political party can clinch the, the, the presidency. So we will be looking forward to partnering with other like-minded parties. And for sure, we have not closed our doors. We have opened our doors. And we, I want to say categorically, that we will be entering into negotiations and discussions with like-minded parties. And we have not closed any door to anybody. We, whether it is One Kenya Alliance, whether it's ODM, whether it's any other new affiliate that will come up, we will be ready to engage them because we know that going into the future, the country will be run through coalitions of parties. On the issue of uh, the former Prime Minister coming to Central, we are very much welcoming him. In fact, I believe that the next, the next visit, he will come to Nyeri and I'm ready to host him because we are very, uh, very, very accommodative people. We are forward-looking people and we are accommodating any presidential candidate to come and sell his manifesto to us. We are that beautiful girl who needs sweeters, you know? And we, 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 we want to take time analyzing these sweeters. We don't want to be like other, other, other tribes, other religions, you know, or other uh, communities whereby a man uh, or a wife or a spouse is prescribed by the community. No we will be given an opportunity to choose whom we want to partner with. And that is the reason, personally, I have welcomed Musari Mudavadi, I have hosted him. I have hosted Gideon Moy, I have hosted uh, Raila Odinga, I am going to host Kalonzo Musioka. We want to host each and every presidential candidate so that when that presidential candidate comes to the mountain, that presidential candidate will be able now to tell our people what he has to offer them post-2022. And we have not made any agreement with anybody that our votes will go to that particular person. When that time comes, we will be able to sit as a community. We have a regimental way of how we do things. We don't just wake up in the morning and say that this is how we are going. No, we usually have a sitting. We had Rimuru 1, we had Rimuru 2, where we came up with the, the presidency of His Excellency Uru Kenyatta. Definitely we will have Rimuru 3 or call it even better, Sagana 3, whereby we will, those kind, kind of momentous uh, uh, pronounce, uh, pronouncements will be made. And I know at the opportune time, it will be made. We have not, and I want to repeat, that we have not closed any door to anybody. In fact, we are encouraging them to come and visit our place. You saw yesterday, the former prime minister, when he visited Moranga, there were people who were saying that he will not be received. He received a very lousy, warm welcome. And the moment he comes to Nyeri, the same case. We'll, we'll, and you'll we'll see for sure that we are very magnanimous and we also appreciate the role that he has played in unifying this country. Four years ago, this country was divided right down the middle. But when he shook the hand of the president, there was peace and prosperity in, in this country. That is the reason you see these roads being done. That's the reason you see electricity being installed everywhere, basically because we have peace and prosperity in the country. Currently, we are on recess. We are resuming parliament on the 20th of next month. I have not heard of anything. I have no problem personally with uh, JP Moturi. He has been a very good speaker. And I have not had any person muting or coming up with kind of that kind of uh, a thing. For me, if it comes, it's, uh, it's not something that I would be able to support because for me, I believe that uh, as a speaker, he has performed very well. And uh, we need to encourage as many people as possible. And especially from the mountain. I am throwing this challenge to the mountain people. There is no written law anywhere that you cannot buy as a president of this Republic of Kenya. There is nowhere written. And that is the reason we are encouraging Moturi go for that big seat. Waidia, go the, for the big seat. Kabogo, go for the big seat. Kionjore, any other person. And that is the reason, even when we were in the meeting with the president, the president encouraged us to talk to each other, not at each other. He has said categorically that he will support any person who is uh, 
who has the intention of uniting the mountain and also uniting the country. So there is no divergent views that we cannot be accommodated or what we are saying that Kaitle reduce the insults. The insults are not going to build anything. Reduce the insults if you are going to uh, positively criticize some of the issues that we are doing, so be it. But in terms of insults and falsehoods, lies, that one of course we are not going to entertain. So don't be shocked to see me tomorrow seated with Kionjore. Don't be uh, shocked to see me tomorrow seated with, uh, with uh, Mother Karua. Don't be shocked to see us sitting with Moses Kuria, you know, because as a mountain, we must speak in one voice. And I'm happy because when Kyojore's team met, they have set the bare minimum. And the bare minimum, some of the bare minimum resonate with what we have always been saying, that there must be equity. One vote, one man, one sharing, one vote. If there is any presidential candidate who is going to come to us outside that promise of one man, one vote, one shilling. We are not going to listen to them. So any person who is pushing for one man, one vote, one shilling is welcome. And we, we, we are going to sit as a community. We are going to sit and make sure that we will come out together as a united front going to 2022. And don't be shocked that we will also have a serious presidential candidate, you know, uh, coming from the mountain. It is possible. We have 8.6 million votes. If you can be able to consolidate the six, the 8.6 million votes, for sure, yeah, that's not a vote that you can actually ignore. In any case, the presidency of this country is won by about 8 million votes. So, for sure, you cannot ignore the vote of the mountain.